to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Remaking Home Alone, James. <laughs> yes. Why? Oh. Now oh. I'm going to do a double feature, Cats, first on nope. Saturday. Nope, nope, no. Nope. And then I'll go to Home Alone. Now who do they have in this uh, in this vehicle? So here's what's happening. Everybody's streaming, opening up streaming channels, including Disney+. Plus. They're going to remake this and put this on Disney+. Plus. I, look, I called this two years ago when we very first started this show. It was it was over, and that's that's all they're gonna do now is remake yeah. old shit and be like, oh sweet, there's this. Why, why are we doing that? He just did a fucking commercial, Macaulay oh, Culkin. That's right. What they was they it did the Home Alone two? thing. It was for something stupid that I wouldn't something... think. It was like insurance or something. Yeah, I was like, really? W- whatever it was, it was shitty, and it's like, man. What are we doing? Right. I, let's just give up. Let, let's just give it up. Let's give up. Well, I already have. And so I'm just wondering what why is I taking, haven't. Yeah. What's taking you so long? Because we've been saying you're right. We know. have been saying this. We're uh, we are 400 in. Right. And we have been saying this since the be- the first the very, couple of shows. There's episode, one. Yeah. There's one episode. I think it's in the first five. It's Hollywood called is dead. Hollywood is dead yeah. and it's all about this. And so I just want to let you, you know that I've already given up and I'm now leaning into the remake. Oh God. <laughs> I, th- I think there's no other choice. I think people beat you to death and then you submit. And then that's, that's kind of what it is. Like then the next thing is just taking off your shirt, your button down and letting somebody take a shit right on your back. Um, cause they've beaten you to death in a submission. So then, you're going to let them do whatever they want. Are you talking about me? Uh, anybody at this point. Because you're going to let them do whatever they want. So it's just going to be Button somebody downs s- do not look good squatting on over yeah. you, mm-hmm. taking a hard, clumpy deuce right on your back. I have a boxy frame, so a button down. Just, yeah, it's probably going to yeah. pop right off. I don't know. It's my shoulders are big, so <laughs> it makes me look kind of like a football player. Yeah, your blades. Your mm-hmm. blades are huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So I cannot wear a button down. But yeah, I do get what you're saying about me. Yeah, I've been under and the you, blades. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's that? I've been under the blades. You've been under the blades? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been trapped in there. Um, <laughs> I, I know what you're talking about. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Very Tron like, you know? My sh- your blades. My blades, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your bear traps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but that th- this is what it is. And like I here's here's where I want to apologize to you. Um, there was a lot of disappointment the other day when football started. Um, and it was just preseason. Right. And you were like, Well, that's it, I've lost you. Yeah. You're gone. I will mm-hmm. see you in three months, I think is what you said. Yeah. Um you're right, and here's, here's why, though. Like, there isn't the excitement of me taking you to go see something really anymore. There isn't the excitement of, like, hey, let's just unwind and watch a fucking cool movie in bed mm-hmm. because that's gone now. Like, mm-hmm. we don't what, – what are we watching? Kong for the, the 58th King Kong movie together, you know? <laughs> The girl from Stranger Things, like right, Kong. Yeah, we're just gonna chill out and watch Kong together. <laughs> I've never seen one. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you haven't Kong. seen a. I Kong? haven't seen Kong one. Yeah, so <laughs> is that what it's called? Eh, Kong it's one. Some variation of that, you know. Kong's they kind of try to sex it up. Remember when they made it white, which was super racist. And nobody <laughs> talked about that. Nobody bitched about that when they made the white King Kong. What was that gigantic thing? the fucking rock yeah, or and then it they was. tried to sexualize it a little bit and it was like kong's dong yeah they yeah. put a fucking dong on it yeah. and it was just like whoa whoa whoa, he's whoa like whoa, falling whoa. in love with the little the gal yeah 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 that would have split her open in two huh if right it showed that scene i don't know if this really was in any of the kongs but in my mind that's I haven't what seen it him. sure yeah i haven't seen i know him. there's he's hanging on a building at some point and yep. then he's almost gonna have sex with us with a regular uh sized woman yeah other than that yeah i don't know anything else about kong that's it but like trying to unwind and pop it down with you you know at the end of the night 
you know, you just want to, you want to lay down, pop in something, watch something together. Right. You've gone far, far right. Like you've taken a, a hard right and things you watch. I walked in on you the other night watching an Indian documentary in not one lick of English. Not one taken a hard right lick of English in this thing. And it was and when I say Indian, I'm talking obviously dots, not mm-hmm. you know, I th- yep. haven't seen a lot of Native American they dots. Weren't. Yep. This was <laughs> from the country of India sure. and somebody had maybe gotten murdered, maybe didn't. And uh-huh. uh, again, two parter. Yeah. Oh God. It was <laughs> Indian man. Like from India. Yeah. Uh, so HBO in my oh. defense, HBO is doing a crime, true crime documentary series. And they're releasing one a week, I think. And the first one was, I love you now die. That Michelle Carter text message killing. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So good. Yeah. Was that the the girl who made the guy kill himself, the kid kill himself? Now, debatable, but yes. That's what she actually went to jail for. Sure. Which is a little bit crazy, right? But there's, what do you do with that? Right? Me, me personally? People, right? So jury or judge or whatever. Throw that bitch in jail. They did. Yeah. Right. Like, so they got it right. But yeah. But it, you watch the documentary and it's sort of like you can go back and forth. Oh, because that's what they do, James. No, that's, I know. That's the formula. That's the journey. And that's what I was telling you with the Indian one. I'm like, I need this to be a one parter. Like they were taking me. So they take you on the journey of did he, didn't he, did he, didn't he. And then yeah. you kind of get to the end. And I was just a little bit done with that. Like I was ready to just know in part one. I was done when I walked in and it was all in standard definition. Homeboy, no, and this is not racist whatsoever. He's literally just sitting on a carpet in mm-hmm. the middle of a ho- in the middle of a uh, one of those sun huts or whatever the fuck you call it over there. Yep, and different cultures all, do different things yep, for sure. Yeah, um, but it's all subtitles at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Whew, I'm good for one of those a year. Mm-hmm. And Spanish is about the only one I'm good for. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you start getting into those crazy languages, I am fucking checked out. Now, are you coming for me on this? No. Okay. But, but this is what I'm saying. That's where you've gone, and that's where we're at with this. I've gone to strictly live sports mm-hmm. pretty much. That's pretty much all I watch at this point. Right. Um, I did get a lot of enjoyment out of The Bachelorette. Right. I'm not even going to lie about that whatsoever. And there's a lot of that dudes being pulled in. Thing. And well, here's the thing. More and more dudes are being pulled into the bachelorette because there's nothing else on. Right. So that's to bridge that gap of live sports to, to that. That's pretty much it right mm-hmm. now. Sitcoms are bullshit. Uh, one hour dramas on, uh, you know, the big four bullshit. There's yeah. a lot of cool shit on like Netflix and things like that. But it's so small now. You notice it's getting smaller like Stranger Things. Yeah. Was it eight episodes? Exactly. And I, I'm, I think we're in six right now. And I'm enjoying the shit out of it. What was it? Big Little Lies was six? Oh, yeah. Or something. And you Season were like, two. Shut up. And then Shut it just up. it ended. And you were like, wait, <laughs> what? Because I didn't find out anything of what you were teasing. They were cock teasing us the whole season with this shit. And then it was over after six. And I'm I like. I think they needed to get away from Meryl. She was probably just being such a fucking nightmare. I guess, man. But but either way, th- those are even shrinking now. Where you're just like, all right, cool. So after that six, what's up? I'm I'm looking forward to the Righteous Gen- Gemstones on HBO. Oh heck yeah! With Danny McBride and Edie, you know, friend of the show, oh, Edie Patterson, heck yeah, AKA Peters from all the the St. James Street James and movies. And that's original uh, principles. He's he's doing original stuff. He is yes. I mean, besides Halloween, but that was his movie thing he did that he always wanted to do it you understand that yeah yeah, yeah absolutely and it's so, great um yeah. so but those are usually a year year and a half apart right so you gotta wait after the the 10 episodes like you, you gotta wait for it and then that's it so i think that's kind of where the disappointment for me lies and with these streaming services that are popping up with disney plus and all of that stuff right yeah it is simply going to become Let's remake our biggest franchises and then regurgitate that shit out because they're going to need content um, and they're going to need it for a very, very long time. So with um, the Home Alone thing, yeah, get ready, peeps. Buckle the fuck up. Everything that you've ever thought of that you watched as a child will be remade and it's going to be remade shittier. They're doing it right now with the Little Mermaid. But Colk- oh, is Colkin going to be in it or no? Who knows? The Home Alone. Okay. Why not? If you're Colkin, why not take that cash? 
I right. take it. He looks. I mean, How, you can. You know what? Little he, makeup. He looks the same. Yeah, little makeup. He looks fine. <laughs> Throw a little MJ in there. Right. Hey. Like from the other room, just have a, oh. a little Michael Jackson trickling out. You know. Yeah, hey, I don't. Hey, they everyone. probably. I don't know if they'll go that. Yeah. Or route. maybe remake Kong with bubbles, dude. There you go. You know. When is Bill and Ted coming out? Yeah, that's so that's another one that that is slated for next summer. They're shooting it right now. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Thirty eight years later. I know, and I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, Top Gun two. Thirty four years later. Yep. That's where we is, but this Home Alone thing is dominating everything, and people are just like, Ugh. just lean into it. It'll make your life easier. I, again, bud. I'm like, gonna take off my shirt. Yep. Lay on a on a bare, cold concrete floor and let somebody. Take a hot dump on my back yeah. right after Taco Tuesday. I want them exiting Chipotle. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, here's what I would like to do. I'd, be, I'd like to be laying on the concrete, right? Arms and legs all the way out, and I'm no shirt, right? Really into it, face smashed into the, into the concrete. I want a fat man, 375 plus, three, four burritos in, right? Mm-hmm. He walks out right out of the Chipotle, and I pay an ex-linebacker from the NFL to come and just truck him right into the stomach so that that shit on impact that's going on is spontaneous, it's real, and it is filthy all over me. That's how much like that I'm prepared to take all of this, right? I'm prepared for a clean up in aisle nine all over my back, midsection, parts of my thighs, you name it. Like, like a pack of dude wipes isn't going to be enough for that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to get a pressure washer to get that duke off of me. That's right. what I'm, I'm prepared for with the rest of these remakes and everything that's happening. Like that's I'm, fun. if you want me to lean into it and take it, congratulations, that's it. But I can tell you this: our bedroom's gonna smell like shit at I the end of the like night. I feel you're coming for me a little bit. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm coming but, for the world today, James. Okay, but I'm just saying here's if I, you know, here's what happens when you have no strong convictions or any real like hardcore feelings about anything. Like, huh? it really is just easier to be like, well. I guess everything's a remake now. It is. It is. But you I, know? all I hear is this. Ah! It, like, you remember in Backdraft where it just sucks in and then the fire shoots out? That's the fat man when he gets hit by that linebacker. Ah! And then, boom, he explodes all over, all over my back. Um, it's going to take one of those elephant scoopers to get it up off the sidewalk. You know what I'm saying? Ah! We, I think we should call this episode the Backdraft Dump, Javes. Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, well, I want to talk about The Bachelorette since we were, we were on it. Um, that fucking story won't die. He's on fire right now, Tyler C. Oh, yes. I get it, though. Again, there was a lot of listeners who listened to that episode, and they were like, it kind of sounded like you just wanted to fuck him. Oh, yeah, well, Yeah, maybe. I mean, you really were maybe. just like. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I get Every it. time he'd come on screen, you would audibly be like, Jesus. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. my God, man. And it started off underneath so my breath. Looking, yeah. And then it ended of just me audibly saying, Audibly Christ. saying, I'd even, I, even I'd fuck him, yeah. right? And then I started in going into positions where it was just like, sure. Even I'd be reverse yeah, cowboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Me on Blurting top. it out. Yeah. In, yeah. Your, in your sleep. I know. I was kind of like, Ugh. So to give everybody. You're Tyler, no. Tyler. Yeah. A, a quick recap of what's happened in the last week since that show ended, was Hannah B definitely wants him back. And I, I, I think, and this is, you can tell me what your, your theories are in this. I think because the rest of the world has fallen in love with him, dudes included, mm-hmm. that she looks like such a fucking idiot for turning mm-hmm. down that guy that it's like, oh no, that was the meal ticket and yeah. I should have held on for dear life and just gotten rich off. Because they could have, Oh, Pose dominated. for everything and dominated. They could be like Colton and Cassie right 100%. now. hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I think that regret is set in for her. Mm-hmm. And she's trying to go, you know, he's even on the show. Well, I like to get a drink and then talk about everything. They I did know. end up going for that drink. Right. They went back to her house. And then. The sh- next day. There's a picture. He's spending the night at Gigi Hadid's. Oh, well, hang on. The next day, he's photographed leaving her house. Mm-hmm text messaging on the way out the door hannah's got her lipstick smeared on she's wearing a pair of umbros you know classic like old school like oh you guys just boned sure and uh you know 
like a, a, a Dick's Resort t-shirt, you know, mm-hmm. from like Myrtle Beach. And you're like, right. oh, shit. All right. Fuck. Yeah. He, they boned and she's biting the lower lip and she's just like, like uh-huh. she knows the paparazzi's there with a, with a long lens, right? Yeah. And uh, she goes along with that. Uh, it, it appears, and this is just my guess, that the text he was sending was to the Hadid chick because he had to have gotten on a flight Maybe. literally hours later. Well, where were they? LA, LA to New York. So you're going to lose that three hours on the way back because they're out the next, they're out yeah, 48 hours later in been, New York at Soho House. He must have been getting on the plane, but my guess, he was texting his agent. Really? That was like, hey, we're going to make this happen. Get on the plane. She wants to hang out, see what happens, blah, blah, blah. Whew. Yeah, because they fully have agents. And when they said they were hanging out, they're like, the two models hung out at because they're both models yes and so they're like he's hotter than her yeah um which is crazy yeah God, I, I just have wow turned yeah. a full homosexual male yeah. i'm not gonna lie summer swayze has turned into uh kind of fall of caitlin at this point and right i might as well just transition shave this this adam's apple off and just let him fuck me there you um, go um in other bachelor news well, wait wait i want to i want to finish this up so did you see what happened after soho house no the, the next morning he's photographed leaving her fucking house same pick that's what i just said same fucking picture yeah yeah, yeah. that's what he where said. you're just like yo so but the if next you're, day he hung out with her and then he left they boned and then he department. left yeah yeah but she had to have seen the hannah b pick because if you if you do a side by side these of those she doesn't care it's She's great. like, come hang What's out. What's her sitch? She said, like, come hang out. What's her sitch in real life? Does she get down? Does she bone a lot of people? Uh, I don't think so. And she's really dorky. Like when you really? hear her talk, she's very, she's actually, when girls are like, I'm a nerd. Like she really is. Oof. That's um, Her voice does not match her face. Same with Shania, Shania Twain. Her voice doesn't match her body. When you hear that's her talk, true. you're that's, like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, that's true. And Britney she's, Spears? She's now got, yeah. Well, Britney Spears' voice um, exactly matches her eyes right now. Crazy. Yes, yeah, yeah, very crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, but in Bachelor in Paradise, which I don't really get into because that's way too over the edge. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a bunch of, you know, has-beens from the Bachelor's getting together, like taking the call and taking the money, yeah. basically. And then sharing a screw. Sharing a bunch of screws. Yeah. But you remember Blake? You remember. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? Do you remember Blake? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember him. Kind of looked like Miles Teller's stunt double or he like older brother. He was, to me, the most, the best looking before I saw Tyler C. Correct. So he was like, holy shit. And he... uh in his season, he was let go in the same way. Yeah. Right before the altar, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was getting on this new uh, season of Bachelor in Paradise, he's getting Me too essentially, by Caitlin, the um, pageant queen that was against Hannah B. member. Sorry, this is really what? insider stuff. But anyway, so that girl said that they met up at Coachella Okay. Because they take them all to all these things, right? Yeah, yeah. You get so to go to all the So the bachelor crew and, yeah. goes to all these things. Because so. they want the photo op of and like, And then they're hey. all together, and then they all hook up, and then they're all in paradise. And once you're in the machine, the only people you're hanging out with and having sex with are people that have been on The Bachelor before for the rest of your life. Right. Once you're in it. Fair trade, I, I feel like. Look, they're all good looking. Yeah. Fun. Fun loving. Flirty. Flirty. Yeah. You know, ready to be exploited at any turn. So he finally, because she was like, he sweet talked to me in Coachella. I was um, drunk, whatever. He forced me, blah, blah, blah. And then silenced me, told me not to say anything. And I don't think the forced women. Forced her to do what? Hook up. Okay. Were Basically, they, like sex? sweet talked her. And then as soon as they were done having sex or whatever, he ghosted her and silenced her so basically told her not to say anything right what was what she's saying but it was it sex or did he make her toss him a beach like what was it sex okay it was it was sex. they hooked up oh gotcha and with bachelor and bachelor in paradise it's always they're just having sex all over the place okay so they had hooked up again not on the show not on cameras anything like that they had just seen each other coachella um 
you know, and I guess she said that he forced himself into the hotel room and blah, blah, blah. And then is and her big crusade now is that silencing women, you cannot silence women. Right. So Blake finally Mm -hmm. was like, I need to release these text messages like I can't. I'm sorry. This is really horrible. Yeah. But I have to because you're fucking coming for me. Yeah. Um, I sent it to you, but it was an email. Uh, so I'm going to start with. Oh, boy. If, if it, revol- it it involves you pulling up a computer, we're in trouble. No, I here. have it in front of me. Okay, cool. So do you have yours? Yeah, yeah. Fire away. From the email. Oh, so yeah. do you want to read him or her? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read her. <laughs> well, who's, who's in blue choice. and who's in white so here? So w- when you text message, and I'm sure you know this, when you send it back to someone, yep. it's in blue. Yeah, so but who's, so in, hers, who's in blue? Her, is, is she in white? She's in white. All right, if she's in white, I'll, I'll be the blue. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, I'm coming. No, lol. Dude. Dude. It's fine. Chill. It'll be good. No, that's what they all say. Come on, loosen up. Don't tell me to chill. Let's just, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face emojis. Let's just have a good time, man. Again, that's what you all say. I just ordered an Uber. Hashtag lur. Liar. Ah, and then he respelled <laughs> it. Hashtag liar. Man, when you if you can't if you can't spell the word liar on the first go, that should that should have been a fucking telltale sign. I'm sleeping in the shower. Okay, I like it in there. It unlocked. Uh, supposed to be it's. He is he is not a grammar guy. They're drunk at Coachella. Come on. I understand it, but it usually so auto corrects for you. It's unlocked. We can cuddle, but no, no sex. Yeah, we can cuddle, but no sex. Lol. Lol. Laughing out loud. Yeah. He's trying to keep it light. He's trying to be like, hey, I don't want to tell you to fuck off. Fun but and flirty. Fun and flirty, but also no, right? Yes. No means no. Yep. Um, she says yes, sex, only sex. I have willpower. No cuddling. Ha, huh, lies. Willpower, all caps. He goes all caps on that. Willpower. Yo, we both know that's not true. I know when you get a little alcohol in you. So this has apparently happened before. She's gotten a little tipsy before. Right. There's been previous convos where she's probably tried to come over and try to mm-hmm. ride the pain train. Mm-hmm. And he shot her down. Sure. Yeah. We both know that's not true. Say it. I dare you. Nope, I'm a gentleman. Uh. That, that is very false. And then he blew her a kiss with a, a blowing a kiss emoji, which is a nice thing. That's a nice thing. If I come over, it's strictly for sex. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what they all say. I'm just trying to be honest, you know? Yeah. So. Now that we have this conversation out into the world. Um, and so whoa. now everybody's coming. He's deleted this. He put this on his story. He's deleted it. And now everyone's coming for Kaylin, And he's like, dude. Stop attacking her, blah, blah, blah. Listen. It, look, here's the thing. I think she deserves all the attacks. When she said, you can't silence women, does she mean with a ball gag? Because this right here is like, I, look, I just want to fuck and that's it. Yeah, and I think he said many times in this without saying. 90 times, it looks I'm like. I'm good. Yeah. You're good. No, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, yeah, are you yeah. sure? It's just sex. Are you sure? So what was homegirl's response sure. to this? Uh, so she's just getting attacked and she's just like, I now I'm, she's getting all kinds of fucking, she's getting all that smoke. She's getting all the smoke. But that's what happens when you, you know, try and bring, look, this was clearly some kind of relationship that they had. It wasn't a fucking rape. It wasn't whatever. It was a relationship that they had that didn't go the way that she wanted it to go. Yeah. And that's not the same as me too. Right? No, not at all. And so. When you do stuff like this and when you say, you know, try and drag a guy through the mud because he was kind of a dick. Do you know what I mean? In a a relationship, we don't know what really happened after or before or whatever. He may have ghosted. He may have been like, hey, you said it was all sex. Let's just keep it like that. That's what you said, blah, blah, blah. So was he the greatest guy? Probably not. But I don't think that he is like a creepist or a rapist. A creepist? Yeah, because there's a difference between a rapist right. and then someone that's like, okay, 
or, super creepy. Yeah, I'm look, I'm sure after reading this that he presented his bone in a polite way, you know? Probably on a pillow of some sort, maybe had a it white It looks like she literally on. broke into his hotel room from what I see in these yeah, text messages. Yeah, and straddled him and, uh, uh, and the whole thing. Here's what shocked me about him when you popped that on last night, right? Was he had a scar mm -hmm. from ear to ear on the from back the of his skull. I did not know what but that I told was. You, I told you with LeBron, I was like, you see where he wears the thing? Yes. Because he has that big scar in the back. And Correct. he's starting to not wear it as much and kind of just let it go. Because he's sort of like, whatever, people know now. <laughs> I'm not covering it up Why anymore. does anybody do that surgery? Can you? Because it's the best way, it's the most not. natural. In the front, it does. I mean, if you keep your hair just a little bit long enough to cover that scar where you can like brush it down. Right. It is the best looking and most natural way to well, do it. Because it, it's growing your own hair back on it, your head. It did head. not look natural. And <laughs> he looked. In the back, no. He looked like fucking Frankenstein in the back of his head. Uh, yeah, he looked like he was in a car he got accident his hair against cut, a cement truck. Unfortunately, because he had it this whole time, so he got his hair cut a little bit too short before Paradise. Oof. Do you know what I mean? Where it's like usually he keeps it, and then when he was on The Bachelor, he kept it pretty long. Yeah, in that back to cover it. Yikes! Um, I didn't think his hairline was that bad either to start with. So no, he's had it the whole time. Oh, and he was hiding it on the first thing. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Um, so that big and. It was very thick up in the front. And when it's like super, th do you remember? It was such a great, perfect hairline. Very hard to pull off in real yeah, life. Yeah, the, the only one who is doing it really, really well is uh, B Coops. Bradley Cooper, man. Those plugs. And I think he probably got. His plugs got, are the best. Whoever his plug guy is. I think he got Bosley as well. well. But he always keeps his hair long enough that. Do you remember back in the day he would always have like basically a really Short haircut. Short yeah, hair. Yeah, yeah. So now I, he's always long because of that. I get it, man. Whoever his plug guy is, get me his fucking nombre. You don't need it. Where do you, you want it? You never know. On your face? You never know. My pubes. I don't, I've never been able to grow a proper amount of pubic hair. And like, I would like to the transfer some. The length that you want? Yeah. yeah, I'd like to transfer you some. You know what would be fun with that? Yeah, because if you're transferring from your head down there, it yeah. will be head hair. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. not like it turns into pube. It'll be a nice so curtain. it will be a curtain yeah, of Yeah, you can, you can open hair. up the blinds and be like, whoops, there's the ding-dong. There you go. There we go. There you Boom. go. Um, here's another random creepy story I want to kind of get your initial response on. Sure. So Army Hammer. Ah. Have you seen this video? With his kids sucking on his toes. Yeah. And all of the hate that he's getting you for bet. this. Warranted? Probably not. The only problem I have, so the video is... Uh, for, uh, for those at home who haven't seen this video, it went viral. It's Army it's Hammer. It's hard to find now, but... Yeah, yeah. It's his, he videotaped his children sucking on his toes. His two-year-old son. Son, yeah. Sucking on his toes. And I mean, he's in there. Yeah. He's got two... Two toes in there. Huge, full-grown man toes. He's a 6'3 man, same as me. In his... Yep mouth Child's and he mouth. is going to town yeah. for a very long time yeah uncomfortable uncomfortable gross to begin with right yes and then he puts a hashtag that says foot fetish on fleek first of all wow is that real that is real and oh, that's my boy. main oh, issue boy. because listen it's not look if i saw that on one of my like mom friends 200 follower Instagrams. I would think it was funny, right? Not uh, great. I don't love feet. They're so disgusting and gross, and especially man feet and tall ma man feet, to be honest. Right, right. Tall men have the worst feet. Sure. My feet are all right. Six, two, six, three, worst feet. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, of course. My feet are fine. <laughs> Your feet, feet are, fine. are fine. But notoriously, usually it's a men, mess. Yeah, it's a fucking mess. They're kind of, yeah. Pull up Antonio Brown's feet. Google that at home. <laughs> uh, what happened to his feet? Fucking cryogenics. He yeah, yeah. He didn't wear proper footwear and he got frostbite. Posted a picture of why he wasn't playing. Uh, his goddamn feet look like that Bigfoot movie that I took my child to see. Yep. Uh, what was it? Was it just called Bigfoot? What was the cartoon movie? Link? That's it. Yeah. It was the like Link? fucking Link. It was like yeah, he's link? got Link feet. Um, okay. Phew. That's why I don't work out. Yeah. Anyway, that's so what he was doing. Right? I was Working trying out? To, so when I saw the Army Hammer thing, Obviously, I was disgusted, um, 
but it it seemed like classic army hammer to me because i've never really liked the dude you know it's just very specific um so i thought of tone deaf and sort of like what is that hashtag? Like, you are such a dork. Yeah, I just think it's a dorky guy who doesn't know any better. He and, doesn't. And he reminds me a lot of Tom Brady, where a good-looking, successful, dorky guy who doesn't know better and open mouth kisses men, sure. um, including his own children, who are sons. He's got sons. He's open mouth Look. kissing them, his coach, his owner, all of that stuff. And it's just people who are like, man, there's, there's a weird quirk or a tick in people, and you can't figure it out. And then you have to go along with it. The, the only other one that this brought up to mind with me was Alicia Silverstone. Alicia. Oh, well, she would chew up her... Her food and then bird feed it, it to her children. Her and she got yeah. caught on a train mm-hmm. uh, feeding, baby bird feeding mm-hmm. her children, chewing up chicken and then spitting it into the child's mouth when that video went viral. Uh-huh. That's what that likened the army hammer thing to me where I was just like, that's, that's do you remember the SNL sketch they did. With no. Oof. Oh yes, I do. The yeah. Family. Oh God. Will that Ferrell. The, yeah. Pretty much they'll plug w- Will Ferrell into any of those, the kissing family, yep. the bird, b- baby open bird. Mouth kissing the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Open mouth kissing his son. Yeah. All and that he shit. goes for it. Like he will straight up just spit. Uh, a whole that one was thing the only one that I got into Chris Catan's. I got face. sick on. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was really gross. But anyway, I think to me, I, I don't, you know, make fetishizing it like people are giving him shit because it's like he's sexualizing this thing. I don't even think that's it. To me, the hashtag is just the real egregious part of this. Yeah, all of it Foot to me. Foot fetish on fleek. First of all, you're not allowed to say on fleek anymore. We've decided that. Are white people allowed to say that at all? Because I no, feel like they, they thought shouldn't. they could for a tiny bit, yeah. and then we're done with that. So he's do he's bringing up that which is like you're not we're not even saying that anymore and then foot fetish now you're just going you're feeding right into the hands of these motherfuckers right and he's already deleted his Twitter account once <laughs> yeah because what of that did he article do? somebody wrote an article that just said please stop I think it was BuzzFeed and it said please stop trying to make Army Hammer happen and. It's true, though. I know. And, and he was just like, I'm great done guy, with all though. the fucking hate. Great guy. Uh, great guy. Um, Needs yeah. to work on his hashtags a little bit and then just be more discreet with the and parenting stuff. And as a father, stuff. maybe not have, having your son yeah. suck on your maybe toes. Maybe let's do my, my style. What's that? No kids. Yeah. No kids, no nothing on the Instagram. Yeah, if yeah, they yeah, want to yeah. have an Instagram, they can get their own. They can do it themselves, own. yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, you're, it's a slippery slope. You know, when you're having your son suck on your toes, it's like, you it's know. It's just when you post be sucking anything, on a dick in 10 years. Absolutely. On fleek. You got to fill that mouth up with yep. something. Beach so. is on fleek. Yeah. So. Beach on to fleek. The, yeah. Road Pride to parade. Beach. Yeah. 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 Or you should hashtag who. <laughs> who let the dogs out. <laughs> no. Just. Oh, God. And there he is on Pride Parade just on Molly. Just sucking some dude's dick right behind a, oh. a, f- a Miami float, you know, yep. with a pink flamingo on it. And you're like, oh, what happened? I don't know. Video went viral of me as a kid sucking on my dad's toes. Next thing you know, I ended up with a ding dong in my Hashtag mouth. Hashtag beach training, right? Yeah. On fleek. Yeah, on fleek. That's what it felt like a little yeah. bit. It was like, any, like what you see? <laughs> Pedophiles? Nice. Come on down. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Light the candle. There was just a lot of things wrong with it, none of which I think is like, you know, deserves the horrible hate he's getting about fetishizing it. I don't think that was it. He's just a dork that needs to not be posting shit. Yeah. He just doesn't get it. <laughs> Hashtag cheesecake factory. <laughs> like, Whoa, what Hashtag the road to the cheesecake factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like hashtag too many menu items. Yeah. <laughs> and you're just like, wait, what? Wait, what? What? Yeah. It, it's a just it, let's it's a two year old sucking on your toes, man. You should probably work on those hashtags. And I also think that even with you know, Alicia Silverstone didn't post that. But I do believe that if you post anything on your Instagram or on your socials of you and your kids doing anything, right. it is opening the door for judgment. So like, I don't, I'm not normally like a judgmental parent of what other people are fucking doing, but if you post it and put it in my face and be like, we're awesome. I'm going to be like, no, you aren't. Yeah. I, I just, with the children thing, man, you, you got to be really careful, you know, can't and put he a was fucking, the, he was just the opposite of careful. I know it was literally like, what? Are you fucking? It was one of Anyways, those. It, it was one of those videos enough. where you're, you know, 
when it, when it goes past a minute and they add another video and you swipe right for it, it was like I was expecting there, there to be a swipe right and the child is wearing a fucking leather mask, you know, with mm-hmm. the mouth zipped open. Yeah, yeah. You're just like, Jesus Christ, man. Told you. Right? Told you, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's on fleet. Well, or, wow, that escalated. Yeah, yeah, right? gee, that escalated quickly. Yeah, hashtag, yeah. Yep. And he would just be so hilarious. Yeah, he's just got a gimp mask on with a zipper, uh, you know, un- unzipped, and you're like, whoa. Foot fetish on fleek. Come on, Shut brother. Up, dork. Come on, hammer. Uh, speaking of hashtags on fleek, our sponsors are on fucking fleek. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Sorry, Ghostbed. Retired. I'm willing that to say that, that me saying that our that Ghostbed is on fleek is worse than saying that Casey Anthony had the best night's sleep of her life in that bed. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is giving you all the deals. Um, what kind of deals are they giving away, Javes? She had the best night's sleep because she didn't have any kids? Yes. Perfect. Okay. She was finally um, alone. What kind of deals are we looking at here? Huge. Huge, Do they still have the bundle huge. package? Yes, seven ninety nine. Are you getting anything with that? Free pillows, nice. son. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Free pillows with the the Ghost Lux mattress. If you're military or first responder, fifteen percent off all items in the entire store forever. And I, it looks like I'm not sure if this is true, but the newer pillows that we got yep. are cooling. Yes, they are. So we have both versions. Correct. And. A cooling pillow? Yep. Is there anything better? Better? Uh, maybe getting a, a toe job from your two-year-old. Um, <laughs> ugh, is that what it's called? Or did I just make that up? A toe job? Yeah, just give me a nice little toe job. <laughs> uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Get yourself a mattress. Relax. Sleep. Maybe not get out of bed anymore after this show. Because um, you're not going anywhere for a while. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. As always, 36 months pay as you go. No interest. No one on the internet is offering this except for the hammer. Is that what they call him, the hammer? Yeah. He he's really... got a, he's got a, I think it's called like Army's Army or something like that. He's got a fan thing. Oh, I'm sure. Check it. I forget what the, the nickname of it is. It's something fucking lame. It's just a bunch of dork losers. Yeah. <laughs> that don't understand the internet following him. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, pull over. Uh, Who are you? Are you a police officer? No, I'm part of the dork patrol. <laughs> beat yeah, it. Yeah, beat, beat it, it, nerd. nerd. Uh, next up, we got StrikeForceEnergy.com. Four amazing flavors. Energize forever, man. Well, our neighbor came over last night and was just like, holy shit, you guys weren't lying about that. And I was oh, like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's legit. I don't think people understand. And then they get it and they're like, yo, and then become hooked on it. Uh, a buddy of mine, Ken Murray, um, Boston film credit, great guy. He was just like, yo, man, I drink this shit all the time. There's no carbs and sugars. So if you're on a diet, it helps, man. And it is very, it energizes you. You're not crashing. So much. You're like. I think you even told her, you're like, I only take half. She's like, oh, what? <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, dude. Like, spread it out. Yeah, throughout spread the day. it out. Or else yeah, you're going to yeah. be pinging off the walls. <laughs> yeah. um, but it's, it's amazing. Uh, big, big fan of Strike Force Energy. Grape, lemon, original. And uh, orange? Orange. Yeah. I always forget about the orange, man. I don't know well, why. You know what's weird? Our children's favorite flavor of stuff is. Orange. Orange. That is strange. We're going to have to change that because you never want to be that kid, right? Yeah, you don't. Give me the orange. Yeah. No, everyone knows you throw the fucking orange in the trash. Yep. Except for this one's quite good. Same with runts. You always throw the banana ones in the garbage, Those are too. my favorite. Are they really? Mm-hmm. You fucking dirtbag. <laughs> you also eat bologna sandwich on the, on the front porch, so. Bologna sandwich and mayonnaise on the, like, wonder, wonder bread. Wonder white wonder mm-hmm, bread. Mm-hmm, disgusting. Mm-hmm, Change mm-hmm. your disgusting habits. So good. Habits. My God, that sounds so good right and now. And go to strikeforceenergy.com and become a fucking man. Ooh, and tuna casserole, too. Whoa. Oh, on Ten. a hot summer day. Oh. Let it sit out a little bit. Sweat. Yeah. Let it sweat a little bit. Oh. <laughs> you might as well put a toe in my mouth on that one. Uh, Strikeforceenergy.com, as always, is using the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. They've got a subscription of the month club. We've, we've had it for four years now. 40-pack. We just get sent to the house. Uh, it's cheap as fuck, too, to be real. It probably should be charging higher, but whatever. 
I don't run the joints. Uh, go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. They may soon, today. so stock up while you can. Revolution, 20% off. Last but not least, this is what you came for. This is what our producer takes his headset off for every single episode. And if you're not subscribed to the video show, go to YouTube and do that now. StraightRazors.com, Jabes. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you Oh boy, that was you were really cranking was, up the engine that on that really one. Really felt good, you guys. Cranking up the engine on that Gosh, one. Gosh, it was hitting on every cylinder. All motherfucking cylinders, all of them. Go to straightrazors.com to be a real man in this life. You can shave up that taint, that gooch, those legs, dim bushes. Um, the straight razors are second to none. <laughs> They got uh, Butts, <laughs> vaginas, yep. legs, arms, taints, <laughs> buttholes, <laughs> pussy. That's the one I can't really say. Well, I had. This, why can't you say? I don't the word know. I had pussy. this scene. I had to do. I vividly remember having to do the scene in acting class. I'll let you get back to the last sponsor in one second. And I had to like call this guy a pussy. And I literally every time I said it would just like not say it. I couldn't get the force behind it. I would start laughing immediately after. It never felt right. You overemphasize the P. The P, is I know. The problem. But it makes, and then it's like, I can't stop doing that. And it makes me laugh. Mm. So I can't serious. And I was supposed to like be, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. either forceful or sexy or something about it. And I like could not, could not do it. So sh- say it. You can shave your pussy with a straight razor. <laughs> you can shave your. Mm. See? Yeah. You can shave your pussy. Oh, God. <laughs> See? God, it's gross. How? What's the good way to say it? Say it. Pussy. Pussy. Yeah. But then that's very you Shave dude. your fucking pussy Save with your that. fucking pussy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Get your lady boner all fucking yeah. juiced. Shave your lame. Shave the lame. I don't like any of that. Um, I don't like any of that. All right. Cunt. Right. Yeah, cunt. Mm-mm. Cunt punch. What is the, what should I, what is the a thing I should say? Vagina? Uh, vag. I actually don't mind vagina. All right. <laughs> cool. Because I could say it like a an old mom oh, from the Midwest. Yeah. Go to straightrazors.com for uh, everything we've just given you in this amazing promo read. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. It's a big savings there. Big, big savings there. Um, I want to talk about It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, the They're kind of doing like a version of upfronts for cable networks now okay and they're saying this they're they're down to go f- season 15 and 16 if the the creative team is up for it why wouldn't you I, man i look this was one of my favorite shows of all time for whatever reason i just stopped watching it after like season eight i think is um, it still is it still hold up yes. have you seen have you seen it recently um i haven't seen it recently but they are doing the things where they'll put clips of it so their shows probably aren't getting the actual viewers, but the clips that they put up after are. Well, the problem is this. So they've been, they're on FXX now. And like, which I think is when I stopped to be same, honest. Same, yeah, yeah, yeah. because nobody's watching it. And it was, it was on at a weird time. And like, we, we didn't initially get the channel on our cable package for whatever reason. And then right. it got put in like a year later. And I think that's where I checked out of we it. We had to stop being poor, I think is what it is. No, it just didn't come with our thing. It didn't come with our. I think I think we we had direct TV at the time. It just didn't come with it. Mm. And then they put it on like a year later. So I stopped watching it. I I think it's still good, right? It has to be. Um, because they're all doing it. There's a picture of Danny DeVito and like he's still in it, and everybody else is still in it. So and they've it all moved to on good. to other shows, but then they keep coming back to this show. So I don't know. Um, I know that they're up for the record of the longest running sitcom. Maybe they just want to do that. Like, maybe they just want to get the record. They do like you know to do weird ass shit are? like that. I know. They are rich, but I do think that they love doing it. And I think I do that too. They, I get the genuine sense that they do. It's their time to like hang out because D and. Well, half the cast is married to each other. Right. D is married to Mac. Mm-hmm. And then the waitress is married to uh, Charlie. Charlie. Um, so 
Yeah, man. I mean, fuck. It's probably like doing a podcast for them where it's like they finally get to get together and do hang weird out shit. And do weird because shit all, day. all of them, like I said, except for Mac and D. I mean, D tried another sitcom, didn't really work out. But I liked it, though. Oh, she's hilarious. There's nothing that she can do that is bad in my mind. And then homeboy uh, McElhaney did. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, he didn't really do anything. So I think that that's his main. Well, he created It's Always exactly. Sunny. So like, I get that. The other one went on to do uh, the, the, what was it? AP Bio. AP or, Bio, which is really good. Actually. That was good too. But I, I like still both on. It's very good. hers and his shows. Um, and then Charlie has been killing it in movies. So they're all doing other things, I think, except for the creator, right, Mac? Yeah. And I think that's probably the thing of like, you guys do, maybe he did well, some Wu-Tang shit on it. And I was like, you guys do whatever you want, but you have to come back every blah, blah, blah to do. Maybe. I will say this as a creator of a show, like, dude, it is all time consuming. I'm sure when that's over with, because he's got to sit in those fucking edits too. Absolutely. So maybe, like I'm saying, I'm maybe sure when that it's was said and done at the thing. end of the season, he's like, "Yo, fuck this. I'm rich enough. I don't care. You guys have fun doing yes, this other you, bullshit. But I'm gonna be working on the next season. Just make sure you're back for it. For yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And uh, fuck. I'd like to think that that's what it is. I think so. I, I think so. Uh, like when I saw it that I was surprised, I was like, fuck, are they on? If they didn't get 15 along. 15 and 16. It wouldn't. I think that's the only reason why it's gone that long is because they actually all get along. And well, there's I, no weird. I told you the, when I saw them out, um, I saw them out at a, a movie and they were all together. All of them and their wives, including Dana DeVito. And I was like, holy shit. They're all real, like that good of friends in in real life that they were going to a Friday night you movie at the dome. You have to it was be. at the Cinerama Dome too. Yeah. We were just like, shit, all right. Um, but it was cool to see where I was just yeah. like, god damn. Because usually, you know, you're on this shit and and then you bounce and you're like, all right, McGrews, dude, I'll see you later. Yeah, I got kids and shit. Um, I'll or catch you have you enough on money. I just want to like take time off, and I love that they don't. They yeah. have enough money to never do anything again. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and, and they're pushing for this. I think that's awesome. So do I. Yeah. So, uh, man, I haven't seen it in a long time. Uh, Dan, actually, Dan, Dan Anthony just walked in. He's sitting off camera. Uh, have you watched any of the new It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Does it still hold up? It does. Good. That's good. That's good to know. So, D, so Dan says it, it, not only does it hold up, it's even better now, um, which is great. And I look, the only other show that I can think of that's like that is probably South Park, where... I, I used to watch South Park back in the day, and then I, just, for whatever reason, you know, stopped. stopped. And then uh, somebody was like, "Hey, man, have you watched South Park recently?" I was like, "No." And they were like, "Man, they're fucking really still going for it." And I was like, "What are they on? Like season twenty now?" And they're like, "Yeah." And so uh, I popped on an episode uh, one night, and I was just like, "Oh fuck!" It's very topical, still yeah. very aggressive, and I was yeah. like, "And they love doing it as well." So fuck, man, good on them. That's amazing. Um, but fifteen and sixteen—that is. A crazy amount of time for a, a, a sitcom right? or any show. I mean, I'm trying to think ER, maybe Grey's Anatomy. Grey's Anatomy is on at like season 19. Or, yeah. I mean, it's something yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Um, what was Friends? Friends wasn't that long. No, no, it was maybe like nine, 10 seasons. Oh, something okay. like that. Yeah. Simpsons is still rocking, dude. Uh, and that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Uh, especially with homegirl being a Scientologist, donating all that fucking money. For oof, Lisa Simpson. Uh huh. You know she she donated like eighteen million dollars last year to Scientology. You know how rich you have to be to fucking donate just one one year eighteen million to Scientology. Do you know how stupid you have to be? Yeah, yeah. Do you know how <laughs> into groupthink you have to be? Ah, I'm a big fan of groupthink. You really are. I love. You will just go with to sit down. <laughs> Sit. You are very easily to get on a plane to Jonestown. <laughs> sounds good and it sounds nice, and I and everyone else here seems to be into it. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Give me a pair of uh, those white kids. Let me put those on and yep. uh, enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. Enjoy everything. Live off that's the going. land. Yeah, I like where you're going with this, Jim. <laughs> Jim, you're making a lot of sense, brother. <laughs> A big fan of groupthink. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Alec, do you have uh, Jesse's gift? Do you have a gift for me? No Not today. way. Well, well, stay tuned. We were supposed to, we were supposed to put it up today. And, oh. Um, 
and and uh, it was one of the greatest things ever. And then Alec ruined it. So, well, stay tuned. Yeah. Next episode, I'll have some kind of surprise. Yeah, you will. It, it'll be up on the. It set. won't be my face anywhere. And, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know that for sure. Not even close. No, so we are going to change the logo. You're going to be on the. You're going to be on the logo for the show now. Of but we have this to, show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got to get you to take a picture, though. You will not sit for a picture. Look, princess. I have an 11 month old. Just give me a second. I'm a. Uh, I'm gearing up for the cruise. How about I'll take a picture closer to the cruise? Okay. Cool. Cool. You know how it goes. I've been having a hot girl summer, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Eating cobbler, drinking, <laughs> having fun. And that is what I wanted to do. I'm like Meghan Markle. I'm just taking it easy. I'm, t I'm going easy on my body. You were unprepared to take a pic for no. the, the podcast photo is what you're saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. The okay. most I can do is just be on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Show up, throw a little paint on the barn. That is all I can do. Yeah, no, I hear you. I Posing hear you. for a picture will not end well. <laughs> I, I, I did actually, I got a little... Uh, you had to take a passport photo yesterday. I did, and it was okay. I, I thought it was good. I have to expedite my p passport because I'm a fucking loser. But we took a picture on the Drinking Bros set, and someone said, how about that regrowth? A dude, by the way. What's, what's regrowth? Regrowth is your, your roots. So okay. I have the Madonna thing going on. It's called fashion. Look yeah, it up. yeah, look it up. Look it up. It's called fashion. But anyway, I was like, <laughs> ugh. Like the first time. There's so many things you can say about me, which is great that no one really like goes. A dude said that? Yeah, they never go after like my weight or anything like this, which is great because they know. They know. You know what I mean? It, we have, we're, for the most part, we've got some Men shouldn't go after anybody, any Absolutely. women. Absolutely. Wait, right. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? They know that. Yeah. So the most that they said was, how about that regrowth, though? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I've almost made it, right? In my mind, if someone actually talks shit to me on yeah. Instagram, then I've made it. What's, uh, so let me, let me. Because you feel so. Let me ax you then. Um, why? No, what's oh. the hairstyle? Ombre. That's it. Yeah, you should have just written back and said it's an ombre. I just look didn't it up. Even. It's called fashion. I almost said it's called fashion. Look it up. Poor but tits. Yeah. You know. It looked really bad in the photo though, so I have to say he's not wrong. It's just an interesting thing for a guy to say. Yeah. To you, like, hey girl, get a touch up very, or whatever. Almost gay. Yeah, a little yeah, very, bit. Very. It's a very. He did say he dated a hairdresser. A dude? So he like knows. No, a girl. Uh, are you sure? I don't know, actually. Yeah. Well, check, check, uh, check the hand. You know, oh, I'm, I'm holding the hair dryer. Nope, you're holding his dick. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're that's the telltale, any, huh? Any hot air out of that mm, thing. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. You're getting a lot of nudists, uh, general spread all over you. How about that regrowth? Though? Yeah. I can't believe that that was said to you. Um, Look, I'm kind of shocked by out that. Of, again, out of all the things that you could say, that yeah, was that, a very nice little. That's a crazy that's one. That's a nice little shit talking, right? Where uh, it's like, it's not really going to hurt me. Right. right? By, by the way, a cra crazy story that just popped up um, this morning as well was uh, they're doing a fucking Monica Lewinsky um, American crime thing called impeachment at FX. And it's Ryan Murphy. It's about Bill Clinton. Oh, shit. I'm really surprised they're doing that now during this political climate. Everything he does rocks the shit and ends up winning Emmys, Golden mm -hmm. Globes. You remember Oge, right? OJ Simpson. Yep. If they're just shooting this now, this probably won't. Well, it might come out this fall. It depends on how far along they are. But I it, think it's relevant, to be honest. So do I. But I'm surprised they're doing it against the Democrats right now um, because they're freaking out right now, saying this is really bad for the election timing and we don't want this impeachment thing up. So we're trying to focus on Trump's impeachment. Uh, I'm surprised by this as well. Like they're all super left. In particular, Ryan Murphy. He just held a fundraiser at his house, maybe two months ago for uh, Buttigieg. But didn't he get impeached for essentially obstruction? Uh, he was trying to no. get her not to. Just lying, yeah. Right, but trying to get her, like forcing her to not testify. Yeah. Okay, but um, that's it. What I think there was a couple of different things, right? Yeah, lying under oath is what it was, but, okay. you know, 
um, perjury, essentially. Right. Okay. So, uh, but the timing of this is really curious. Like, why now? And they were like, Ryan Murphy is always pre- pressing buttons. I actually think it's hilarious, and it's it's great. Yeah. Why now? Because it's super relevant. It's super relevant, and they it'll show that you know when they did go after him, they hated him. In oh yeah. The same way that and they hated. Forget. In the same way that they hated, hated Trump. Trump. Yeah. Hated him. Yeah. For his whole presidency, and was just looking, 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 and finally. It wasn't hard with him, but found something, <laughs> found his weakness. Yeah. Right? So um, I think it's relevant for sure. So to do show I. that, it, you know, that it's not new. To show that it's not new for one side to hate, hate the president. Yeah. Uh, so. And constantly be making fun of and constantly be saying shit against him. Right? The, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um, so she's listed as a producer on it. So she's going to help. Like Monica Lewinsky is involved in it, which is mm. new. Uh, Sarah Paulson, my girl, Paulson. He's more Murphy's girl, but yeah. Uh, I, I think she's rad. Um, she's playing Linda Tripp. What? Yeah. You know, her wife would be a better Look Linda at the photos, Tripp. man. Um, it's pretty funny, and they'll, be, they'll, they'll probably beef her up a little bit, but uh, uh, that's really funny. Uh, Anna Lee Ashford is playing Paula Jones. I don't know who that is. I wonder who's playing Beanie F- Feldstein is playing Monica Lewinsky. All right. Look, it's Ryan Murphy, man. He only pounds out hits. So uh, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking at this Beanie Feldstein chick right now. It's a, it's, it's a pretty decent match. It's a pretty decent matchup for that. Um, you know the uh, age difference between her and her wife? Who? Paulson. No. 32 years. What? Paulson's wife is 76 years old. Are you serious? Uh-uh. I knew she was gay, but I didn't know she was married to a 76 years old. I mean, that what is that? A grandma? Mommy. That's a grandma issue. That's no. a mommy. That's a granny. That's a granny. It's a granny issue. Man. Yeah. Very strange, huh? Sorry. Go ahead. And especially as a lesbian, because you're always going down. You're going down for a snatch like that. That's uh, well, someone's always going down. Very it's just Adam's like, family it's vibe. It's just down there. like any relationship. One person is always going down more than the other. Mm. So I'm guessing it's At old age, teeth though, out. Take those teeth out, I Granny. I get it, but it's 76. You you're mm-hmm. not very flexible. Um, you can figure something out. Yeah, though, but right? if you're going scissor, like that's that's a lot of stretching involved. Um, scissor yeah when they scissor like that because that's a uh-huh. move in the lesbian community yes um so yeah, that's yeah i mean it's not a go-to but yeah it's but a move it's a move mm-hmm. but that's pretty much off the table one would imagine for sure because there's a lot of things you can't do with that you know you can't do the uh the lazy susan you gotta throw i don't that I out think the window. a strap on would be out for sure when i paulson have to be on top paulson would have to have the strap on on Yes. Like and granny she, and cannot be, be putting on a strap. Correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause that's too much movement. Oh yeah. Even yeah. when I see it in porn, I'm like, that is hurting my hips. Yeah. You got to go. Uh, oh boy, man. You've got to have a thrusting out. movement that uh, doggies mirrors. Almost out. Yeah. Maybe she's a yoga teacher. I don't, what does she do for a living? Do you know? She's an actress. Well, you know her. I do. Holland Taylor. Holland Taylor. I don't. I don't know that I know you her. You know her. You don't want to look. You don't want to look at that. Uh, look I'll, at that face. I'll take a peek. See, this might cut into the revolutionary figure of the okay, day. Okay, I'm but sorry, but no, no, no. You can make now her I'm, the revolutionary figure because she is let's pulling do it. some. I don't know that I've ever had a seen some, an age gap like this. Holland Taylor, yes. Holy shit! <laughs> really? That is an old lady, huh? She's super talented. Look, Holland Taylor for is sure. rad, but like for sure. And look, be friends, huh? I could see her actually pulling off some moves. She's one of those older ones that's kind of like, uh, who is it? Kind of like a Stritch. dame, a dame Judy Dench Remember or something. Stritch, who oh, is yeah, Elaine, Stritch. Elaine Stritch. Yeah. Huh. That's a, that is a shocking one. Mm-hmm. But she's talented. Sure. Like, if, if, if Holland, like Holland Taylor could still pull ass, I understand that. But seeing a picture of them together, it, it looks like a side by side of her with her grandmother. Yep. Wow. 
Yeah, let's let's give the revolutionary figure that ate a Paulson for this. <laughs> Paulson or Holland? Because Both. I feel like Holland's the one that's really because you would always give it to the older guy, right, for pulling the younger ass. Mm. So let's give it to Holland Taylor. She got herself some some Paulson. I'm not gonna say it. Boy, Paulson vagina. Pussy, Paulson yeah, pussy. Yeah, say yeah, it. Just yeah. say Paulson no, pussy. No, I cannot. Yeah. Pussy. Pussy. Man, that is uh, that is crazy. Um, but I welcome that. Sure, I welcome that. That is revolutionary. Absolutely, good for her. Absolutely. Uh, I'd be curious just to see one one sexual position in that bedroom though at the end of the night. Would you? Yeah, I'm good one. on it. I'm good on it. Just one, personally. You know, but you sure. can only imagination sure. only goes so far. That's what mm-hmm. Peter Pan said. Um, so just dropping nuggets for you and the audience, and I hope you go to bed with that. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Be your favorite boy. That's another Peter Pan quote. Good so. night. <laughs> Good night.